Hi, I'm Jeff Kleinman with Drink Spirits, and we are at the home of Bacardi Rum, which is just outside of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, behind me is obviously the famed bat. Uh, we'll be taking a look around and get a little bit of the history of, uh, of Bacardi, and then hopefully we'll be able to sneak back and look at the distillery. Welcome to Bacardi. My name is Charles, and this area you've just entered, this is a recreation of the homes here in the Spanish Caribbean. A century and a half ago, when our founder immigrated from Spain to Cuba. They drank a predecessor of the rum we know today. They called it rum bullion, or kill devil. It was very harsh and unrefined. When our founder arrived in Cuba, he sold wines and brandies. He refused to sell the local rums. He only wanted to sell quality products. He set out to change rum, make it a more refined type of beverage. He began experimenting with rum making and pioneered some of the steps that we use today. This document is of the back of the registration and trademark. It was registered September 23rd, 1909, at a cost of $13.25. Although the trademark was registered in 1909, we didn't open operations outside of Cuba till the following year in Spain. 1915, we opened a bottling plant in New York. Closed a few years later due to prohibition, it never reopened. 1931 in Mexico. 1936 is when we finally opened here in Puerto Rico. Now, on the other side there, we have a scale. We would weigh the barrels after aging to find how much they lost in weight to do the calculations to find how much rum evaporated. The barrels are made of American white oak. We buy these barrels from whiskey makers in Kentucky and Tennessee. They buy them, we only use them once. We use them several times. We get the barrels, we wash the barrels, we soak the barrels, also charred on the inside. That gives you from a nice smoky Roman flavor. It also opens up the pores on the wood. We lose a significant amount that evaporates every year. Two to three times as much as, for example, with aged scotches, whiskeys, cognacs, brandies, bourbons. But we age two to three times faster. So, for example, I've been recording eight years, but you can compare it to most other products, which age 15, 18, 20, 25 years. It's accelerated here in the Caribbean because of the climate. So behind me are the fermentation tanks, which basically you, you take molasses, yeast, and water, and uh, that's what's creating the base that they're then going to distill to make Bacardi rum. Uh, these are 50,000 gallon fermentation tanks, and we've got like 20 of them out there, which is just massive. So we're up top of the uh, Bacardi distillery here, and behind me are the actual Bacardi stills. They're, they're quite big. We're, we're talking a magnitude similar to what you saw at Absolute Vodka. Uh, and, and this whole complex is an array of fermentation tanks, holding tanks, water treatment tanks, and, and then a massive number of uh, warehouses that hold the rum. So behind me is one of the Bacardi warehouses. They're aging their barrels end to end, which is pretty typical for rum because of the high angel share. This warehouse keeps going back and back and back. It's really, it's really exceptional. This aging warehouse is divided into four sections, okay? This is one of the larger warehouses. This is uh, 90,000 barrels that has a capacity. The aging warehouses are anywhere from 45,000 to 90,000 barrels each. But the 90,000 barrels is divided into four sections, okay? We age in this warehouse each one of our proofs, okay, for different years. To be able to be called a Puerto Rican rum, it must be in the warehouse no less than one year. My name is Tomas. We're going to be talking about three different types of cocktail drinks that made famous for comedy throughout the years. Cuba Libre is the most served cocktail drink in the world. It is just Bacardi and Coke, the way it's registered as an official Bacardi drink. But its name, Cuba Libre, in Spanish terms means Free Cuba. Our Cuban friends now refer to this as La Mentirita, the little lie. But that's a whole different story. The daiquiris, we all have many bars and clubs. They do serve us all these nice frozen daiquiris. Peach, mango, strawberries, banana, you name them, they'll make them. But the original daiquiri was not frozen. Simply lime juice, sugar, with Bacardi, light rum. At home, you get yourselves a nice little seven ounce cocktail glass. First thing that you do, you fill that up with ice. In your shaker, your mixer, you also put a bit of ice in it. But with an ounce and a half of Bacardi, light rum, an ounce and a half of freshly squeezed lime juice, and two or three teaspoons of sugar. Then you shake this, but shake it well, so the sugar in the ice will begin to dissolve into the lime juice and rum to give us a nice little lemonade effect. Then we're going to screen the used ice and pour the whole entire liquid 
into the cocktail glass so you can have yourself a nice little homemade lime diary. Mojito, that famous Cuban drink, consists of spearmint leaves, lime juice, sugar, Bacardi, Light Runner Club, soda. It is actually the oldest cocktail drink ever created with Bacardi. Now this is the way you guys are going to make them at home. You get yourself a 10 ounce bud, thick glass. It is first put in about 10 or 12 spearmint leaves with an ounce and a half of Bacardi Light Rum. Your next step, you will first mash the leaves down into the rum so the essence flavors of the spearmint gives the rum a mint taste. Then you add your lime juice to it, preferred freshly squeezed about an ounce or an ounce and a half, two or three teaspoons of sugar, stir all that up together, then fill it up to the top with ice, club soda, and stir again. That will be your mojito mix made at home. My name is Mr. Mons, been my pleasure. And that's Bacardi. Uh, I'm enjoying a little of their eight-year-old rum, which is one of my favorite products of theirs. And uh, the operation here is just massive, one of the largest rum distilleries in the world. We do these videos for you, so make sure that you like them and subscribe to our channel. Give us some comments and let us know what you like to see. I'm Jeff Kleiman with Drink Spirits. Cheers.